Here is another viewer requested video. The individual wanted to know what is the minimum height for a riser. And that is it. Four inches is actually the riser height. And that would be from the International Building Code book. You, however, will need to check with your local building authorities, your local building departments, to verify the information in this video. I know a lot of people uh, make a lot of videos and there's a lot of stuff on the internet that is not true. And what the information I'm providing you with here is information that came from a book that um, might be used by your local building authorities. I mean, I'm in the United States. I'm in California. This is a common building code. But I could actually be in a city uh, or a county in California that doesn't have this. So uh, now the state of California actually does have its own building code uh, regulation. So that might not be as applicable in California. But in the state of Nevada, it might be. You know, so always check with your local building authorities. You know, the information that you get um, from my videos or other people's videos um, needs to be verified. And if you don't verify it, you could end up with some problems in the future. The maximum riser height, seven and three quarters of an inch. And this is for a, this would apply to stairways in residential homes, for example. I believe the building code book that I got this information out of 2018 International Building Code um, book. I believe that it has refers to this as an occupant load of less than 50 people. But if I say that, I realize it can be confusing to some people. I mean, let's say that you you're in a public building, you know, a commercial building where you you have a restaurant or a bakery. And there's only five people that work there. And you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, these codes apply to me. No, they don't. Completely different codes. And the, the minimum riser height for public, um, or I don't want to even use the word public, but more or less public buildings is seven inches. So, um, and the um, maximum or the minimum tread width, minimum tread width for a public building is 11 inches. For a home, residential building, um, it is 10 inches. So hope that makes sense. Now, the biggest problem you're going to have when you build something out of the maximum, you know, everything's going to be seven and three quarters. I need to point out is that you cannot be an eighth of an inch taller. The inspector measures this and it's seven and seven eighths. You could be tearing this thing apart. So it's... Probably the um, best information you're going to get in this video. So pay attention here. Same thing with the minimum. If you're building a minimum riser and you're going to make it four inches, if it's three and three quarters of an inch, you could have a problem with your building inspector. You're going to be tearing the stuff out or fixing it somehow. So anyway, that is it for the video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.